Alrighty then, successful indie author, 5 Minute Focus, episode 798, writing today. There's Stanley, oh look at him, curled up on my Marine Corps blanket. <clears throat> Alright, writing today, how do you get in the mood to write today? Well, you have your time set aside, here's what I need to write, here's what I can write, and I start by editing yesterday's work, just rereading what I've got. Uh, tweaking it up, getting it ready to go, which then sets the stage for today's words. So we take today's words, and we do great things with them. All right, well, we get them down on paper first. Now, it's important to, for me, dream about that next stage of the story. Is it a transition? Is it the, the scene itself? Is it the action? Is it the setup? What's going on? Think about that, because then it's easier to write, because you've already thought about it. Get those words. Set yourself up to win. Get your cup of coffee, steaming hot Java, whatever you need, and jam. You've got to get them. You got to get the words down. If you sit and think about writing, well, that makes you an author, but you can't sell what you don't write down. So you got to get those words. So you dream about it. Who is playing in this next scene, and what are they doing? Because this is you're you're telling a story. Uh, you're uh, narrating. What you're seeing in your mind. So narrate, get it down. The characters, you've got characters and they're doing something. Who is playing, who are the characters, and what are they doing? Make sure you account for everybody. Don't leave a character out that's supposed to be there just because you put them there yesterday and you forgot about them today. That's why you reread where you uh, were yesterday. And now, what are the most interesting aspects of what you're seeing? Do not write, he casually strolled down the sidewalk on his way to mail a letter in the, in the post box. Who cares? Make it interesting. Leave out the parts that the readers aren't going to read. That's uh, El Elmore Leonard's advice. Put in the interesting stuff. You see the scene? You see it there? Take it apart. Say, no, that, that's interesting. That's cool. And that helps set up this other thing that's a side plot for this other thing to keep it interesting. Put that down. Write that down. What is interesting about what they're doing? What is interesting about the characters and the interaction? Write the interesting stuff. That's what the readers want to read. And make sure you get the words. So that's how I set myself up for each day of writing and deliver, hopefully, a good story yet again to the readers. The readers are the final arbiters of whether it's a good story or a great story. So give it to them. Let them decide and learn to write the better next one even better. Peace, fellow humans.